Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to add another supply diffuser to this office. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. So today we're going to be adding a supply diffuser in the other office. This room specifically is getting too cold while the other one is not getting cold enough. So to kind of counteract, I spoke with the customer and the idea here would be to take one of these diffusers where this is actually supposed to be supply, but there's nothing really coming out of here. And just having this one freezes the room. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one just to save money and use that diffuser to put in the other room. And then I'm gonna cut a hole in the duct. And like this, we're gonna have less air coming through this area and opening up uh, an entryway for the other room so we have more air in the other one so hopefully by opening up that hole we have less airflow coming through here and more airflow in the other room so the other room gets colder and this one gets a little warmer seems like a good idea but that's the plan so let's go ahead and start by disconnecting this one see here's the diffuser 24 by 24 and it's a 10 inch supply so you can see it says there so this has like some tape around it. Try to take that off. Let's just cut this, make life easier. This is the insulated duct, so behind this wrapping, we got fiberglass. All right, and then we have the duct here like they just taped this one so we just gotta get this off and this whole thing will free up so this is pretty much freed up get this last ring off move that to the side Right in here. All right. Considering this is insulated, this definitely was a second supply for this room as it is larger. I feel a little bit of air still passing through even though they closed the damper. Regardless, we're gonna take a bag and just cover this up. So hopefully we can balance out this room a bit as far as airflow and then move on to the next room. Duct is now covered. No air is escaping and we can leave that in the ceiling. Now we're done on this side. All right, so right there, this little piece of tape so we can see the air is flowing through there. So wherever that connects is gonna be our supply duct. We're gonna tap into there and add a diffuser in the room somewhere in this area. All right, so that's the fuser that's supplying. So here's the duct. He said he didn't feel no air on that one, but there's gotta be air coming cause that's this takeoff for that. This one there, the other room is freezing compared to this one. So what I would do is tap in right here and bring in some flex duct into this area. Customer ordered some parts. Here's the flex. It is not insulated. I mean, that's not that great, but it is what it is. We're gonna work with what we have. Don't chew me alive on the comments. <laughs> We're just gonna go with what we got. This piece definitely bends, so this is gonna be an elbow. And here we have a 10 inch takeoff. So this is the part this little gasket behind here. That's the part that's gonna get mounted onto the duct. Drill a couple holes, take off with some flex into that diffuser. Let's just find a space where we could actually work clearly. We have one there, so he wants something like in this area, but we gotta work with what we can. I do see a beam 
All right, he wants it in that corner. Let's see how that fits up. Put it in as at an angle. Drop it right in. So this is it right here. We do have this beam coming across. That elbow might or might not fit. Let's see, hopefully we can get that to fit. It might or might not fit. Let's try to adjust this. Honestly, I'm having trouble adjusting this thing. It's super annoying. It's like barely moving. <laughs> I'm gonna work from the bottom and attach it and see if that fits in there. It's gonna be a tight fit. It's looking like an elbow. Drop this end around the duct. See if it fits. Not too well, but I have a little trick for this. Would be good if we had a tool like this because then you could fit it on easily. But if not, what we could do is kind of like notch this out a little in a few places. And then it kind of like folds in and you'll be able to fit it. flush everything went in all right that's looking pretty good we're gonna drop in a few screws and tape it up all right so that's in place this is looking good just cleared here <laughs> perfect fit and as far as here this is our supply. Got like a little transformer here. So it looks like we have to get, get a takeoff right here. And we're pretty close. This is a 10 inch takeoff. It is a bit larger, but if you look, it should fit just well. The only reason we're using this is because we wanted to take this diffuser from this other room, which is 10 inches. Right, so let's set this up in a way where everything's gonna be all right, like right there. I'll just leave a mark right there. Recently broke into my truck and stole my other drill, so can't get this fitting in the drill that I'm using. Usually I only have Milwaukee tools, but it is what it is. I hate this thing. It's gonna really jerk your wrist so what i'm gonna do is take this step down bit and start with a large hole all right when it comes to cutting sheet metal you definitely want this tool this thing is a beast we could possibly try to cut by hand. This thing makes it so much easier. It has that special tip so I can put it in my impact drill. Let's go ahead and get started. Inside this duck is definitely gonna make it a little bit more difficult, but let's just go ahead and get started. Let's see what will be the best way to start. This little bit of insulation out. All right. I 
this air conditioning. That's a pretty clean hole. So, I have to match this and drill it down. But first, take off the tape. What I love about this is that it comes with the gasket, so you're tight. Let's match this up. Right there. And not only that, but it holds it in place while you can get the screws in, which is extremely convenient. Drop a couple self tappers in, you're ready to go. All right, it's looking pretty good. The bottom, I just like bent it, match with the duct, drop the screw in there, gaskets there. If you want, maybe put a little bit of tape, but you really wouldn't do anything considering where this hole is lined up with the duct. So from here, we just need to run a little bit of flex. We're done. What's nice is that this flex duct actually came with these rings. So I'm gonna start by putting that on one end, in the back. And then we could attach this onto the duct and then secure it with this strap. See that plastic moving? Now that's air conditioning. 12,000 BTUs of raw cooling power, huh? <laughs> So we're pretty much just gonna wrap this around here. Try to get as flush as possible. All right, so we're flush. Just go ahead and tighten this down. For some reason this bit is a bit bulky. So we can't use the drill on this, but I'm just gonna use a screwdriver. All right, so I taped the edges, got a good strap. From here, we just need to fit it to the elbow and cut it. All right, something like that. It's looking good, so I'm just gonna cut this. And then the last metal piece. Out with the snips, that's it. And we're just gonna run this right into here. I'm gonna put the ring on and just neatly bring this in. All right, everything's in. From here, got the ring. Just gonna tighten it down. Just gonna tape out the edges. And we're good to go. All right, and that's it. Installed. We officially have more airflow in this room. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time.